Hey guys, what's up? All right, that's really freaking close. And now my phone's shaking. Anyways, <clears throat> what's up? So I just filmed a video and it was really lame and boring and stupid. <laughs> but if you wanna watch it, go right ahead. Um, and I'm wearing the same exact thing that I'm wearing right now and I'm in the same exact place that I was there. Because this video was supposed to be that video and then that video happened, mm, I don't know. So now I really want to make this video. So this video is going to be a lot cooler, I think, I hope. Um, I do look really bad right now. Well, not really bad, but I look like I just woke up. And I kind of did, because I took a nap. Anyway, so I'm just going to go right into this box thing that I'm doing. This video is about, it's all about this. It's all about this box right here. It's all about this really awesome box that, that a little thing is poking out of a worm. As Graveyard Girl would say, if you watch Graveyard Girl, Bunny, she's freaking awesome. I love her. She's a great person. She's awesome. She makes really awesome videos, and she always calls these worms. So now when I see them, I can't help but to call them worms, even though I think I always call them worms because they kind of look like worms. But, um, because they do look like worms. But yeah, so anyways, <laughs> I'm like off topic now. But yeah, so... This box is the Fortune Cookie Soap Box Box. This is the shiz. I don't know. All right, that's really stupid. Okay, so this is pretty cool. It's a really cool box, really neat. It's brown, it's cool. Um, the inside looks really awesome when you first get it. That was a weird face. Um, this is the inside of the box. Oh my God, the worms, they're falling down. Okay, this is the inside of the box and it's green. The worms are green and I think that's awesome because I love green and green is my favorite color. There's a worm coming at you. Okay, um, this is, I don't want to call them worms now because I don't want people to think that I'm trying to like steal her lingo or something, but oh my God, my phone's dying. That's not cool. Anyways, oh God, now my phone's shaking. I'm really sorry. Okay, so anyways, they're just little paper. Who really cares? Okay, so this is the card that it comes with and it says spring on it and it's really pretty and I like it. And then this is all the contents that are in the box. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead right in because my phone's dying, I'm at 10% and that's in no bueno. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I grabbed, or I'm grabbing, is the Garden of Evil. This box has two sides. It has the goods and the evils. So I'm obviously starting with the evils. Because I'm evil. No, I'm not really evil. Am I? I don't know. Okay, so I'm not. <laughs> so anyways, this is called the Garden of Evil Make It Rain. Make it rain. Um, ripped, whipped cream. It says, grab your umbrella. I'm going to put this up here so you can see it while I'm reading. Grab your umbrella. Um, where was I? Uh, where was I? Oh yeah. No, that's not where it was. This is horrible. This is horrible. Oh yeah. Okay. Grab your umbrella. Sparkling droplets of citrus and jasmine dripped with musk, clutched by bloated cedarwood bows. That's what it says. I don't know. Um, I haven't smelled this one yet. I smelled two of them, but I did not smell this one. So let's smell this. Oh, that smells pretty good. But kind of flowery, kind of too flowery, but not that flowery. I don't know. I can't really explain it. I wish you could smell. That's what it looks like. It's blue and really pretty. Um, they're, these whipped creams are very, very luxurious. <laughs> no, but they're really, really like soft and nice and they make your hands feel really good. Oh, that's really kind of overpowering at this moment. It's not too bad though. Oh, it's blending and I smell lemony. All right, I like it. Um, so I put, I take these to work and I use them at work. Um, by the way, I don't think I explained what Fortune Cookie Soapbox was. It's a quarterly box that you get for $20 and it comes with about seven things, I think, from this company called Fortune Cookie Soapbox, which that's them. Can you see that? Yeah, it's them. And they have a website you can go to and look them up. They make all their own products with like natural things, I think. Not natural natural, but I don't really know what I'm talking about because I don't really know if it's natural or not. But they make their own products and it's a little company and they're really, really awesome. And I really like them. And this is my third box from them. And I think it's worth the $20. So that's the first thing you get. You always get like a little whipped cream and that's just like a lotion. Uh, the second thing I'm grabbing here is this next little bottle or thing. And this is, looks like it's from the good side. And this one is called Marshmallow Dreams Cuticle Butter. Um, and that one is on the good side. And that one is called Lavender, or it says, <laughs> the description is Lavender Springs Draped Over Sage and Basil. This one I smelled. I did not smell sage and basil, but I don't know. Um, 
Same thing as a livened with a splash of vodka, which I did not smell either, and a swirl of sticky, sweet marshmallow fluff. That I can smell. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. I already smelled it. I already used it. I really liked it for my hair is crazy. <laughs> like I have like I have worms coming out of my head. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. It's just a cuticle cream. I really, really liked it. I used some of it. It smells like marshmallow and coconut to me with like a hint of musk, kind of, but not really. I don't know. I really, really like this. And I think that's a pretty decent size. And I like the labeling. They always do really good with their labeling. And, and I'm a sucker for labels and stuff like that. Like, I think it's really pretty. I mean, I won't just buy it because of that, but I just think that it's really nice. Oh, God. And that um, it's, I think they put a lot of time into it. Um, anyways, okay, the third thing I'm grabbing here, which is, oh, this is my favorite stuff, the OCD hand sanitizer. This stuff is awesome. I used, I take it to work, and I use it. I work at a doctor's office, so I have, I need tons of this. And I take it to work, and I use them from my, from my fall bo box. I'm still using that one. Oh, okay. Oh, just threw it. Give me one second. Really? All right. Sounds like something. I hope I didn't just show you my butt. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. Um, so this is a hand sanitizer that I use a lot. Um, I think it's one of the best hand sanitizers I've ever used because they have really cool smells. Um, so this is my third one from them, and this is called Afternoon Delight OCD Hand Sanitizer. And this is also from the good side. And there is that, and I'll go ahead and leave that there so I can read it. And also it's like a pale pink with sparkles in it, and I think it's really awesome. Anywho. Um, this says, pink watermelon dancing with fresh apricots crowned in white florals. I'm not a big watermelon fan. I did not smell this yet. <clears throat> I'm not a big watermelon fan, but um, I'm not of the flavor. I like the actual fruit, but I don't like the flavor of watermelon or the smell you get from the candies. And this looks really weird, this lighting. Oh, well. Um, at least you can zoom here, right? <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and smell this. It smells like your typical watermelon thing that you would think. I already put lotion on, and now I'm going to use some of this. Why not? I just like that it's pale pink with sparkles. Like, why? That's awesome. Like, it just looks really cool. <laughs> okay, wow. That was a really hard sniff. Do not smell it like that because you just get alcohol. That was really dumb of me. Let me let that settle in. Ooh. That smells actually kind of nice. It doesn't smell too bad. I don't, I'm not a big watermelon fan, but that it doesn't smell so bad. And now I've mixed it with the other one, and I think it kind of goes really well together. I like that. I don't know. It's not so bad. Okay, the next thing I have, and this is a pretty big bottle, by the way. This is my hand. That's the bottle. That's pretty, I mean, my hands aren't the biggest hands, but they're not the smallest either. And it's a pretty good size. Um, okay, so this next bottle I just grabbed is the Native Nectar Body Wash. And I did smell this, and I think it smells really good. Um, <clears throat> I don't use body wash. I have eczema, so it kind of limits me to what I can use. But I'm actually going to try this out because their lotion doesn't bother me, and neither does any of their other products when I use them. So why not give it a go? So if I break out, <laughs> I guess I won't use it again. Oh, it smells so good. I smelled it before, too. I just smelled it like it was the first time, though, but it smells so good. Mm. You smell good. You smell so good. Okay, and that is the... Yeah, I already read that. Didn't I already read that? No, I didn't read it. I didn't read it. Okay, it says, um, Fresh cracked coconut, no machete required. Machete. That, have you seen that movie? Machete. It's. I like that movie. And I haven't seen the second one, but the first one was not so bad. Um... I didn't like it at first, but then when I watched it again, I really did like it. Okay, so the next thing I'm grabbing out of this bottle, I'm saving that for last. The next thing I'm grabbing is this purple subst- or purple. Did I really just say purple? Pink. It's a pink substance. I'm not going to snort it, don't worry. <laughs> that would probably burn. Okay, <laughs> um, this was supposed to be a ball. It usually comes as a ball. But it looks like mine broke. But I'm okay with that. Because I really don't take baths. I take showers. Um, <clears throat> and I kind of just throw it in my shower water or in a bowl behind my shower water. And it makes my shower smell really, really good. Um, somebody told me to do that on here. And I listened. And I liked it. So whoever you were, you're awesome. Um, <clears throat> so this stuff is pink. And 
and powdery and I feel like I kind of want to eat it because it reminds me of sugar sticks or whatever, those pixie sticks. <clears throat> um, but anyways, this says, what is this called? Oh, this is called the Bloom Bloom Room Bath Fizzy and this is the evil side. So this says, um, a strip club for flowers? I want to go. <laughs> a sinfully sweet combination of jasmine, lilac, and lily of the valley of dark of the valley darkened with throbbing musical notes of fresh peach and citrus. <gasps> oh, all swirling around poles of decadent spun sugar. Poles. They really went with the strip club theme here. Um, I smelled this already because it engulfed my box, but I didn't really, really smell it. But if this was what strip clubs smell like, I need to go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, but if this, yeah, I might go if strip clubs smelled like this because this actually smells really good. Wow, that's really, really yummy. I wish that you could smell it, but you can't, but look, cool. Okay, anyways, next thing in this box is this little gold square. And in the inside, I, I did open this, but I did not smell it. I kind of didn't mean to open it, and it opened. It wasn't wrapped that well, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Oh, Lord, hello. What is that? Whoa. Okay. This is on the, also the evil side. It's called Me So Thorny. Mm. Play on words. And they're going with the sex theme here, I see. Me So Thorny, Steam Me Up Scotty. Beam Me Up Scotty. So they're going with Star Trek and sex <laughs> i'm in for that <laughs> i'm all i'm all ears okay this says me love you long time oh gosh sorry i couldn't resist resist citrus lavender and french vanilla corrupted by a dark shadow of patchouli and sandalwood i don't know what that word is if you can see it i don't know if you're gonna be able to see that but it's p-a-t-c-h-o-u-l-i patchouli I'm stupid. I can't read. I'm sorry. Um, this smells really strong. It smells like incense. Wow. Like really strong incense. I don't know if I'll ever use that, but I don't know. It's not so bad, but it's it's kind of strong. Um, then last or one of the last things in here is this little vial. And it's from the evil side. And it says after no, it says is it evil? Yeah, it's the evil side. So this is the Venus flytrap perfume oil. That's a snazzy name. I like Venus flytraps. Bergamot, bergamot, narcissia, and musk lurk beneath delicate notes of water orchid, orchid, sparkling lemon, and pink jasmine. I can't read. Why am I even reading this? It's so sad. So this is this. And what is... I have not smelled this. I didn't even know this was in the box until like a little while ago. Oh God, it went everywhere. Oh God. Or gosh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say God. Some people don't like that. My bad. Um, gosh, that smells really like like my grandma. <laughs> like, I really don't know how to explain that. Um, it kind of smells like my grandma a little bit. Like white diamonds. But now that I'm rubbing it in, I'm like, where? It smells kind of good. It smells like lemon mixed with my grandma. I don't know. I kind of like it. I don't hate it. All right. The last thing in here is my favorite part, and it's the fortune cookie soap itself. And it comes in this little white package. And it is called Forbidden Fruit Fortune Cookie Soap. I'm going to go ahead and take it out before I read it. No. Yes. Let's do that. Okay. So, ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. I don't know how I feel about that. So, this is the fortune cookie and I really like the design. That looks really awesome. It looks like tie-dye. And it says, Dusky Verbena, Verbena, creeping over fresh blueberry skins and lemon zest. I can definitely smell blueberry, and I can definitely smell lemon, and I can definitely smell them mixed together, and I don't know how I feel about that. It kind of smells like vomit, and it kind of smells like really awesome stuff. It's like two weird smells. It's like kind of bad, kind of good. I'm gonna use it definitely. I can't stop smelling it. It's like the black marker. <laughs> Who said that? What comedian said that? The black marker when you're a kid, the licorice marker, the one that stinks so bad, but everybody wanted to smell for some reason. This is this soap. 
It smells really weird, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just kind of funky, but I like it. It's not so bad. Okay. And then the inside of this little thing comes with a fortune and this, and mine said this time, smile, you're about to smell good. That's cute. So that's the fortune that comes in the little soap. Hopefully you can see that. And then this is the website. I'm like looking, I'm all hunched over. This is the actual website. Go there. And then you can read the things I just read out loud. And then you can laugh at me because I suck at reading. Okay, so yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm done. That's the worms and, or the little paper crinklies. And the flower petals. They put flower petals in the box and I love that. They really go with the theme of the box and I love that. I love fortune cookie soap box. Check them out. It's pretty cool. And I'm done. <laughs> all right, so that was the inside of my box. It's all over. There's nothing else in there. Now I gotta clean up this mess and put all my stuff away. So I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching. This is really long. Eh. All right, see you guys later. Bye.